children that want to can come right up front and sit on the steps here, or you can stay in your pews, whatever you want. You're great. As Jesus said to all of us, let us say to each other, peace be with you. Peace be with you. Amen. She's fine. So in this story we just heard, the disciples, Jesus' friends, are hiding. They're in a room with all the doors locked, and they're terrified. Have you all ever been scared and hidden somewhere? No? That's okay. That's okay. They're so scared because they just watched something really sad they, and horrible. They saw Jesus die on a cross, and they stood there and they couldn't do anything or they didn't do anything and they were feeling awful about that and then suddenly in all of their sadness Jesus appears in their midst and he's there and he shows them his hands the whole did you guys did you guys see the the story of of the rest the crucifixion and and Jesus had holes in his hand for where they nailed they nailed him to the cross and so they were amazed and they said they're so happy that he's alive now i have a question do you think that because they didn't help him or do you think did you hear thomas thomas in the story he didn't believe until he saw the hands the the holes in jesus's hands and the mark and the place in the side when he went where where they poked him after he was dead he said, I have to see those things in order to believe. Now, do you think Jesus was sad or upset with him for not believing? No, he wasn't. Do you think Jesus was upset with the people who put him to death? No. He came into the room with them and he said, peace be with you. He said, if you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. Do you guys know what forgiving means? Do you know what it means to forgive? You do? What does it mean? Yeah, exactly. You're so right. So, so let's say um, Sally hit Tommy. If, Sa if a girl named Sally hit a boy named Tommy and hurt Tommy, Tommy would be really sad, right? If it if Tommy forgives Sally, does, does she owe him anything after he forgives her? No. No. If, if Tommy chooses, Tommy chooses forgiveness, he gets to choose not to stay angry at Sally. He can choose to be angry or he can choose to let go. Now, what is it when we think we need to get back at somebody who's hurt us or we need think we need to make them pay do you know what that's called it's called revenge it's not very nice but it's very natural sometimes when when we get hurt we just really want to hurt somebody back now do you think jesus wanted to get revenge or get anybody back because he died no, no, he didn't. He said, we have to let go. We have to let go and forgive. Now, that's really hard to do sometimes. But you know what? Do you guys like heroes? Do you have heroes? Yeah? Who are your heroes? Martin Luther King. Mine too, yeah? A Black Panther, yeah. That's a, I love the Black Panther. Those are such fun movies. Anybody else? Yeah? Captain America for the shield. Heroes choose to do the right thing. Heroes don't try to pay people back for, for doing terrible things. They choose to be bigger than that. They choose to be bigger than whatever small thing or big thing has happened to them. They don't let that thing Tell them how to live. Do you know, I have a special hero. Can I tell you about my hero? Because I like all the superheroes you're talking about. And, and Martin Luther King is one of my heroes. And um, John Lewis is another. But 
I have a cousin named Bryce, and he's one of my heroes. Now, Bryce, about 10 years ago, was in college, and he was having the time of his life, and he was in a really beautiful country in Europe called Switzerland. Anybody ever been to Switzerland? And he went swimming. And the water was so beautiful and clear, and it looked so, so deep. But he dove in the water without knowing. And it wasn't so deep, and he had a terrible accident. And after that accident, he was paralyzed. He couldn't move his arms or his legs. And it took him a long, long time to heal. He was in the hospital for a long, long time. And when he got out, he could have been, and he was pretty upset about what happened. He was pretty angry because he was, he was like 19 or 20 years old. And he, was, he loved to climb mountains and play the guitar and do all these amazing things. And there he was, and he had to learn how to use a wheelchair. And it took a lot of work just to do this because all of his body was paralyzed. But you know what? He kept learning and he was able to move his wrists. And then you know what he learned how to do? Drive his wheelchair. And then you know what he learned how to do? Drive a car. And then you know what he did? He went and he finished college. And then you know what he did? He went to law school. And now he's a lawyer in Colorado. He's my hero because he didn't let that awful thing that happened to him ruin his life. And he sets an example for everybody he knows because if he can handle what he's been through and not be a cranky, angry person about it, I think we can too. That's what being a hero is all about. And that's what Jesus was talking about when he talked about forgiving. Because every one of us is going to have something really hard happen to us. And we get to choose. We get to choose how we're going to respond to that hard thing and how we are going to either let it shape us as victims or shape us as heroes. Let's be heroes for God, shall we? Amen. Okay, and now it's the children's creed time, so I need helpers. You guys ready? Okay, get your hands out. Ready? I believe in God above. I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe the Spirit, too. I believe the Spirit, too, comes to teach me what to do. Comes to teach me what to do. God be in my head. God be in my heart. God be in my whole life. Amen. So we just talked about the Spirit helping us. And Jesus gave all of us the Spirit when he, when he visited with the disciples. And then later the, the Spirit came to rest on all the apostles. And we are sent forth to share the Spirit with everybody else. And we are getting ready to do something very special, which is to baptize grace.